You guys are probably coming to notice that I've been talking way too much about I Hate Everything lately. So, may this video please be the last, but I can't promise that it is. So for one, apparently the Fine Brothers, you know, the most quality of content, our reaction channel, has, uh, you know, been making uh, some kind of weird... I don't even know the full situation, it's honestly bullcrap, but... Eh. Apparently they're making some kind of copyright claim on any kind of, like, reaction video. Which in general is absolutely retarded. Well, while I can probably appreciate that what the Fine Brothers do is probably a lot less lazy than the full-on reaction channels. I mean, that's what they are, a full-on reaction channel. But of course, they're not the ones reacting. They'll either get, you know, teens, YouTubers, kids, or elders, or, you know, something else along that category. And the thing is, they actually well edit all their videos and consistently pump them out. So yeah, I can give them credit for that much. But at the core, that's still what it is. I used to think that re reaction channels were okay, but then after I hit everything's video discussing it, I was officially turned over and realizing how retarded all of them were. The occasional reaction video is good, but as long as you give insight on it. And you can't make a living off of someone else's work, that is just bullshit. If you're reacting to your older videos that you had made a while ago, then yeah, sure, that's fine, but... Yeah, in this kind of manner, that's not what people are doing. Honestly, I just don't find any reaction channel entertaining. I find reaction videos on non-reaction channels very entertaining, like Phase Jev and a few other people. However, the Fine Brothers are not entertaining, in the slightest. I'm sorry if you like them, but ugh. I know this has nothing to do with anything, I know I'm kind of being a prick right now, but just for comedy purposes. Do you ever notice how fugly they are? Like, seriously, look at the guy on the right especially. I mean, the guy on the left is like, okay, but the guy on the right is just, ugh. Anyway, yeah, I'm done roasting YouTubers. Now it's time to praise a YouTuber. Just kidding, guys. Instead of stopping hating on a YouTube channel, this time we're going to be doing both. Both simultaneously hating a YouTube channel and loving a YouTube channel. Oh god, I'm talking way too much about I hate everything in like all my videos now. He's just gotten way more popular since he's been buttfucked by David Sarage and, you know, YouTube. Derek Savage, I can't talk. I just so happened to click on his channel and notice this, so yeah. By the way, YouTube, please don't copyright strike me. I know you've been very popular with your copyright strikes lately, so yeah. What I'm going to be doing is, in a video where I'm complaining about reaction people, I'm going to be reacting to someone who hates reaction videos reacting to a reaction channel. It's just a mega mindfuck. How many subscribers they're losing? How low can you go? I agree. <laughs> Exactly. I don't even know what they've done. So I guess now it's cool to hate the fine bros. Well, how about you get on my level, huh? My I hate YouTube video that I released back in 2013 has the fine bros featured in the this sucks category. So what the hell is going on with all this drama and commotion? Well, we've got another power-hungry, money-grubbing business running rampant with ideas so stupid that honestly I wouldn't expect anything else from a god. I I kind of agree. You know, I mean. While I do enjoy uh, gaming commentaries and stuff, you have to agree the concept is kind of stupid. And what the hell is kids versus food? I'm afraid I've never heard of that. And reaction channels are, yes, garbage. Eh. Uh... Gantuan YouTube channel with over 10 million subscribers at this point. So the Fine Brothers started off by releasing this stupid ass video explaining that they're launching a new service called React World. I guess I can kind of understand the thought process, because I mean it is the next logical step in making money by doing virtually nothing, which I guess is what the Fine Bros are best at. Because you see, when all the actual effort and hard work is done before your video has even been made, this being the original video in question that is being reacted to, then who can really blame them for giving something like this a go? It might have even worked if it was released at the right time. But really, how did nobody see this coming? Are you genuinely surprised by this? Is anyone surprised? Because I'm certainly not. I've always thought the reaction videos are tripe. I only cite- <laughs> See- See there? I hate everything. I wasn't lying when he said that he hated, you know, reaction. Okay, fuck it. To the Fine Bros as being less egregious <clears throat> simply because they have better production value than this. Pretty much anything looks great <laughs> compared to this though, actually. At first I thought the idea was that the Fine Bros were just going to become yet another multi-channel network. You know, those things that you partner your channel with for protection and various resources. But the confusing videos that they released are so nebulous and baffling in concept that I can't help but sit back with my popcorn Keemstar style and munch away as this hilarious drama unfolds. The Backpedal Brothers released a second video simply called Update. Full stop. I can't help but feel like that full stop was added in for- 
what? Oh. Oh no. Frustration and remorse, well done boys, where they angrily attempt to explain themselves, but do nothing but dig their grave even deeper. I even went as far as to subscribe to their channel just so I could unsubscribe immediately. Take that, ha! <laughs> Wait, why were 14 million people subscribed to them in the first place? Thanks James, I stole your Twitter joke. So it was revealed that they somehow managed to copyright the term React and all of their various other series subnames, which they claim is to protect hold on, hold on, hold on. the copyright. In the new video they admit to trademarking React, though they claim their choice was <laughs> What? They just put a copyright strike on a word. A word in the English dictionary. What? Fucking idiot. The term React Coral. and all of their various other series subnames, which they claim is to protect their channel from being stolen or their amazingly original concepts being used without them getting a fat paycheck first. The fact that yeah. they've been able to copyright an idea so innate, a concept so bizarrely ambiguous and murky, is the scariest part to me here. This much control over something as simple as a reaction, you know, that thing that humans do automatically without even thinking, perfectly summarizes the ridiculous business controlled state that YouTube is in now. Why even call it YouTube anymore? It's not about you. Oh, no. No, 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 that's, that's asking far too much. They should rename it to what it actually is now. Multi-million dollar corporate business tube. There we go, at least the name makes sense now. All of this comical nonsense, bad decision making, and lack of respect to content creators aside, the thing that I find most insulting is how arrogant and pig-headed these guys come across in their videos. Do they really have an ego so inflated that they deem it necessary to claim that their React series has an impact on the world, and that their videos will act as a time capsule that embodies the culture and issues of the time for decades to come? Ever since React first debuted over five years ago, we saw the impact of the series. The franchise has grown beyond our wildest imagination, and it's been humbling to see the impact it's had on the world. We strive with React to be making episodes that will not just be interesting and entertaining now, but live on forever as a time capsule even a hundred years from now that people can look back at what various generations were saying about culture and- That's how fucking stupid we used to be. The issues of our time. So you're wasting your time going on- no, that's just the entire internet in general. The reaction series specifically is nothing more than an easy to digest novelty that compiles all relevant pop culture into one easy to access place. It's not special or unique, it's really not. It's a shame I've already made the joke about Kirk Cameron being a Slovene though, isn't it? The part where they spend the time saying to not stand for people <laughs> ripping off other people's shows and formats is one of the most hypocritical and mind-blowing statements they've made. Part of why we believe this initiative is important is due to witnessing many creators, ourselves included, having their shows and formats blatantly stolen by companies and people, both online and on television. Because what you're doing is very original. Very, very original. You know, no one could have thought of that without you. You know, good job. I, I highly doubt that you were even the first person to do that on YouTube, so yeah. Fuck both of you. And we implore everyone not to support those companies and channels. When you notice someone ripping someone's format- Yeah, watch our advertisements. Off, don't stand for it. 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 So in their completely removed ideal world, the first person to come up with a hugely successful channel around a certain theme should be the ones to completely own and control it. That's as stupid as if a company like Sony tried to copyright the term Let's Play. Nobody should own ideas like that. Oh wait, they actually tried that, didn't they? Huh. The whole point of YouTube <laughs> is that it's a collection of people who collaborate and take oh ideas God. from one another to refine- Did Sony actually do that? Oh my god. ...in it into something of their own. If you can name me a movie reviewer here on YouTube who isn't somewhat inspired by Red Letter Media, then I'd be amazed. Of course, there is a line that needs to be drawn somewhere, but copywriting broad terms such as react isn't the way to go about it. It completely goes against the fair use ideas that everyone fights for on this website. The animator Red Miners posted a couple of screenshots of tweets that the Fine Bros made a while back, making them look like huge liars because they clearly want to own the idea of reaction videos for themselves, despite what they say in their cleanup. But for now, they're doing as much damage control as possible so they don't have to give back their diamond play button. So all in all, the Fine Brothers deserve every bit of criticism that's been thrown their way. Although I do encourage you to actually read up on the facts and decide for yourself before mindlessly bandwagoning with no real concept of what's happening or why people are mad if you still don't understand. It's all too easy to get swept up in drama like this with no real context or understanding. Hopefully this does teach them a lesson and lets everyone on YouTube know that we won't stand for gross behaviour such as this. Here. <laughs> <laughs> you
You should have more than what you have, Mr. IHE. Mr. Alex. Okay, so you get the point. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, the Fine Brothers, um, they're, they're, um, horrible people. Uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. Uh, YouTube don't kill me. Uh, look up I Hate Everything. I would put the link in the description if you know the name is right fucking there. So, yeah, there's no real point in doing that because I'm just too lazy to do that. Anyway, what's your opinion on the whole, uh, Fine Brothers situation? I would try to come up with a pun that made fun of them, but I figured if I made one in that short amount of time with that window of thinking, I would have just sound like a complete idiot. Stay with